learn Magnificent Seven on the Practice Chanter without any grace notes needed. My name's Alec from Get Big Pipe Ready, and we're going to just keep learning on uh, finding and figuring out where those holes are on the Practice Chanter in a fun way so we can stay consistent. So Magnificent Seven, it's an old time cowboy western movie song, and on the Practice Chanter it's going to sound something like this. And one more time. So this is a great tune to work on some of those uh, crossing noises with the C. Um, and a little bit of the crossing noises between the bottom and top hand too. And we're working on it without worrying about grace notes for the time being. So where we're going to start, we're going to start going from C to E. And that's just a good one to repeat. If you're getting lots of crossing noises with that one, this is a good place to pause the video and just work on that. So what's happening there, we're at C, so our bottom hand, which is our right hand, if your bottom hand's the left hand, you need to switch now. <laughs> our bottom hand's the right hand. For the C note, the two middle fingers are up and the pinky finger is down, that's our C note. We're gonna go up to E, so these two middle fingers on the bottom hand go down to the holes at the same time the pinky finger lifts up and at the same time the ring finger on your top hand lifts up as well. So middle two fingers, bottom hand go down and pinky and ring finger come up. So if you got that down, let's move on. So let's just break that down to see what's happening there. We've got our first part. Now we're going to go. So from the E, we're going up to F. So that's quite easy. So we're really just lifting one finger and bringing it back down. So that's quite easy. Now for the tricky part here. So we're So from the E, we're going to a D. So this is the other tough crossing noise uh, you'll potentially get, but it's worth working on because it's going to come a lot and a lot of tunes you're going to play. So we're going from E to D. So all three fingers on the bottom hand are lifting up, but the pinky's going down. That's what's going on with the bottom hand. At the same time, that E finger from the top hand is going down onto the hole. So it's similar to that one we're doing before, but instead the C to E, we're doing E to D now. So that's what we're doing. So you can do that crossing noise. Um, we'll try to make it clean, try not to have a crossing noise as we go back and forth there. And we're just walking down from the F. So we're going F, E, D. So it's really part of the scale. That's another good spot to pause the video and just work on that walk down from F to D. And just come back to the video when you have that figured out. And if you already know it, great, let's continue. 
So from D, we're going to jump up to high A. So high A, the bottom hand, all the fingers are down except for the pinky is up. The top hand, high A, we have the thumb off the back hole. So far, that thumb has been on the back hole. Uh, now it's off. And the top two fingers are off as well. So that's high A. Our walk down, and then we're going from D to high A. So that could be a good one to practice too, just going from D. D to high A. So let's put that all together and see what we have so far. Starting from the beginning. Okay, we're going to go through that once more. A little bit slower. Beautiful! And now it's going to start much the same. So we literally play the same thing we just learned again, but instead of going from the D to the high A, we're going from the D to the B. So let's just practice that. So what's happening there? So on D, again our thumb, our top hand, everything's closed there. Thumb is on. Our D, our pinky's down. These three fingers are up. On our bottom hand, we're going from D as in dog to B as in Bobby. Uh, B, our first two fingers on the bottom hand are down and our bottom two fingers are up. So that's D to B. So that's kind of the third transition movement that you could pause and practice um, the video. And just to recap, we have these different transition movements. We have this one. That's C to E. We have D to E. Pardon me, in this song it's more going down, so it's more from E to D. And now we have D to A. And our last, so this is the fourth transition movement you get with this little tune, is going from D to B. So just with this fun little western tune, you're getting four different transitions that you're practicing. So if your brain is bursting a little bit, just give yourself some compassion and, and keep plugging away at it a little bit every day. And come back to this video, pause it where you need to pause it, and just keep plugging along and you're, you're going to get it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's play the whole thing together. Okay, so that's the first part of, um, of, of this tune, Magnificent Seven. <laughs> yes, it has a name. <laughs> and already the video is almost 10 minutes, so I think we're going to end the learning there. I'm going to play it through a couple times slow for you to follow along, and we're just going to have to come back to it in the next video to do uh, the ending on this one. Okay, so I'll play what we have so far. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, I lied and I played what we're gonna cover in the next video. <laughs> All right, so good luck on that. The start, the first half of Magnific Magnificent Seven, maybe the first three quarters of Magnificent Seven. Let me know if you have any comments below. Be, I'd be happy to help you find those holes on your chanter. And uh, yeah, definitely send a comment if you're, if you're finding these videos are helpful or if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next lesson where we tackle the, the ending of this song. Thanks.